for tuning in so uh, as France was saying this is uh, nine, nine years since we delivered the first Model S the first car produced uh, here in Fremont so almost a decade and uh, I think we've, we're really taking it to a whole new level with the, the with plaid um, uh, some of you may know that I mean basically our, our product uh, plan is, is stolen from space balls um, <laughs> So, <laughs> where are the, we've gone plaid speed. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, what we really wanted to achieve here is like, well, why, you know, why make this really fast car that's crazy fast and everything? And uh, I think there, there is something it, it, that's quite important um, to the future of sustainable energy, which is that uh, we, we've got to show that an electric car is the best car, hands down. You know, so it's, it's got to be clear. It's like, man, this is uh, just sustainable energy cars. It can be the fastest cars, can be the safest cars, uh, can be the most kick-ass cars in every way. Um, and that, and that's, that's why we did the plaid. It's just to show hands down, this is the way to go. So, um, yes. <laughs> Pressing slide. There we go. All right. <laughs> so... Uh, we've made huge improvements from the original car, uh, and uh, well, actually, who, who here? Has anyone here? Probably some have bought the the, the early Model S, like the yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your support. Um, so uh, we've we, you can see the, the the huge improvements we've made. So and it started off with with good performance, but. Uh, now with the, the with plaid, we, we've managed to break the, uh, the the two second barrier, if you will. The no, no production car has ever uh, done zero to sixty in under two seconds. So, so and, and this is this is a, a four door car, seats five adults, uh, etc. etc. It's, it's like you know, single movement. I mean, this is like what I, what I call like uh, limit of physics engineering. It's not relative engineering. It's like, uh, what does physics say we could do? Because physics is the law and everything else is a recommendation. <laughs> so uh, in addition to uh, a crazy performance, uh, it's also got a long range. Uh, even with the uh, prime motor uh, high performance, it's got almost a 400 mile range. And in the dual motor configuration, it's got a 412 mile range. So. <laughs> 420, give or take. <laughs> so, um, that joke will never end. <laughs> so, and and we've also improved the super supercharging speed, so you can uh, get 187 miles of range in 15 minutes. So.
Yeah, so a quickest production car, to be clear, of, of any kind ever made, like I said, first to ever break the two-second barrier. Uh, later tonight, you'll get a chance, a chance to uh, drive around the track. And um, like, this is really something you have to feel to believe. Because it hits your, hits your light in the, right in the limbic system. It's like, damn, like, whoa. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, is, it is basically, what is the car that we can, how can we make a spaceship a car, you know? Yeah. Um, so, hello. <laughs> so, let's see. Yep. Uh, and then, in terms of additional stats, uh, it's also the, the fastest production car to complete a quarter mile, so 9.23 seconds. Uh, it's got a 200 mile an hour top speed, uh, a thousand, over 1,000 horsepower, almost 400 mile range. Like I said, uh, charges uh, so fast, uh, you, you know, it'll be probably done by the time you have a coffee, basically. Um, and talking about some of the sort of uh, details behind it, so uh, we have an, an all-new battery pack, um, and then something we're really proud of is the new carbon-sleeved rotors for the motor. So this is the first time that, uh, there's a, to the best of our knowledge, there's been a, a production electric motor that has, that has a carbon overwrap rotor. So um, this is a super hard thing to do because a carbon and... Uh, copper have, uh, you know, at very different rates of thermal expansion. So, in order to do a carbon overwrap rotor, you've got to wind it at extremely high tension. It's a very hard thing to to do. We actually had to design the machine that makes the motor, the rotor. So, it, no such machine ex existed before. It also means we can make have the electromagnetic field uh, be super efficient uh, and have a tight gap even at super high RPM. And this is it's single speed from zero to 200 miles an hour. So it's just, like it, the, the RPM is so crazy that just the centrifugal force wants to expand the rotor. So the carbon overwrap actually holds the, the rotor, to, basically holds the rotor together. <laughs> it's, like, it's like madness. So, um, yeah. So, let's see. In fact, uh, we we're going to show you the motor. In fact, you might have had a chance to see the drive unit. And we can go closer. <laughs> I mean, this is really a an amazing work of engineering. Um, yeah. There's, there's just never been a, an electric motor like this. I mean, you can pick this motor up with your hands, and, and it can accelerate a two-ton car to 60 miles an hour in two seconds. I mean, that kind of power to weight is insane. Yeah. So it, it goes. Uh, we've, we've, it goes up to 20,000 RPM and maybe a little more. So. Yeah, I was just saying, look close, look at it. <laughs> so, let's see, okay, let's switch back to the slides, I think. So, uh, in it, we also were able to achieve the uh, lowest drag coefficient of any car ever made. So, yeah. So, uh, really, I think t Tesla engineering has outdone itself here. Uh, this is a car that looks good, but also gets an, uh, an incredible drag coefficient. And this is, uh, take, uh, this is the, the true drag coefficient of the car, including um, w with wheels in motion. Sometimes you'll hear drag coefficients quoted, but that'll be without the wheels moving. And the wheels cause sort of air churn and incremental drag. And uh, this is the actual drag coefficient of the car. So, it's... Uh, to have a good-looking sports car, uh, have that lower drag coefficient is, is really tough. So. We also have the latest and uh, greatest uh, in heat pump, which is the basically the HVAC system for the car. Uh, it's 30% better cold weather range uh, and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating in freezing conditions. Um, yeah, so it's you'll see very little degradation in cold weather. 
um, and the radiator is uh, twice as big for heat rejection. So you'll be able to actually do back-to-back -back 0 to 60s, um, go on the track, just haul ass, and uh, as you'll see tonight, this car is just going to do over and over again, and it doesn't get winded. I think we've got to take this uh, back to maybe the Nürburgring. Let's uh, see what happens. Um, and then, of course, uh, it, you know, when, when we uh, first delivered the Model S, there were no superchargers anywhere in the world. So back in 2012, no superchargers anywhere. Uh, now there are 25,000 superchargers all around the world. So, uh, we opened uh, 30 just in the last week. And uh, we're just going to keep going so that you can basically travel anywhere you want uh, with peace of mind, super easy, keep increasing the, the power of the superchargers. Uh, you know, we're 250 kilowatts, so obviously that will we'll start going to you know, 280, 300, 350. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then it's, it's also engineered for uh, maximum safety as well. So, uh, in fact, this is designed to be the, uh, our aspiration for this car. Um, it still has to be tested by the U.S. government, but uh, we think we can uh, get the, the lowest probability of injury of any car ever tested. So, um, in fact, the, these are the actual NHTSA probability of injuries numbers. All top five cars the, with the lowest probability of injuries ever tested, all five are Teslas. So, so I mean, with the Plaid Model S, what you have is a car that is uh, faster than, than, quicker than any sports car, uh, and uh, like faster than any, any Porsche, safer than any Volvo, in the same car. That's insane. It's like, it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. So. And then the design, we've obviously made a lot of refinements to the exterior, and, and then we've made, we've completely redone the interior. So we, we, I think when, once you drive the, the new Model S, it really feels like you're driving the future. Um, and uh, other cars are going to, especially like non-Tesla cars, are going to feel very last century. <laughs> so, all new interior. Um, as you can see, we changed the orientation of the main screen, so it's easier to watch movies and that kind of thing um, in landscape. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, in other notes, we have ventilated front seats. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, it's, I think it's a, it's really, it, you drive around and it really feels like, okay, we're in 2021. Great. Um, we, we have the, this yoke steering wheel, which is a little different, but I think once you try it, you'll think this is, it's, it's great. Um, the, you, you, your, the visibility uh, of the, the, the main screen is, is super clear, especially for uh, autopilot, so you can see the entire panoramic view. of You can basically see the mind's eye of the car. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. So... <laughs> so. And then we've gotten rid of the stalks. So, like, you know, I think generally um, all input is error. So we, we want, if, if you have to do something that the car could have done already, the, the, that should be taken care of. The software should just do it. So you can actually just literally walk up to the car, it senses that you're approaching, unlocks the car based on your phone, it just basically pairs with your phone, knows that you're coming to the car, opens the door, it op op extends the handle, you sit down, and you just drive. You don't, you don't have to uh, press the drive or anything like that. The car knows you want to drive. It figures like, yeah, yes. good guess, you know? Okay, <laughs> so, and, and, then, and then it's okay, using the autopilot system to know where the obstacles are. So obviously if there's something in front of you, you want to go backwards, and if there's something in, uh, you know, in back of you, you want to go front, most likely. Um, <laughs> and then it'll, 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 it will adapt to your, uh, to, to your needs. So if it sees that you're always doing this, you know, you're changing to reverse or forward in particular situations, it'll try to remember that um, and ge geocode it to that location so then you, it'll, you won't have to do it in the future. It'll, it will just keep uh, 
minimizing the amount of input that you need to do until the car just reads your mind. So it's going to be great. Um, yeah. So uh, we've re redesigned the, the we've moved the interior so that the, the, um, the, the front IP is actually uh, slimmer and thinner. So we were able to move the, uh, the, the front seats forward, giving more room to the back seat. And we uh, reclined the back seat more and uh, reduced the interior trim. So uh, basically, the, the, you know, the current Model S, the back seat is not amazing. But the new one, uh, it's actually a legit back seat, I'd say. <laughs> it's like, you, you, it's good. <laughs> Um, so you, you can, it's, I think it's quite a comfortable uh, back seat, and you've got also a rear screen, um, and you can control everything from the from the back. Um, yeah, so it's it's got uh, uh, inductive uh, dual inductive chargers uh, for your phones in the back, and dual inductive in the in the front. Um, and it's, got, it's a 36 watt power supply, so you can actually charge like your, you know laptop or anything basically it's got it's a 36 watt uh, USB-C yeah um, it can also uh, pair with multiple Bluetooth devices simultaneously so uh, multiple people could be controlling music or somebody could be playing a video game and then uh, similar to the, the model 3 and, and Y um, we in, instead of having air vents uh, we use intersecting uh, columns of air, so and we just vary the uh, the speed of the air, so you don't have to. There's, there's no vents um, that you can see, uh, and you can just touch the screen and move the screen around, and it'll it'll just move the air wherever you want it. And the and the air is much more diffuse. Um, it just feels like an invisible air conditioning system. It's great. So, and it's a, it's a, a tri zone, so there's a zone for the, the rear. And a, a front and uh, left, left front, right front uh, zone. So. And then the 17-inch touchscreen is—it feels like a, a movie theater. The, the sound is incredible. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so you can really—it's—it's it, it, it's like a home theater experience. So if you're if you're sitting somewhere waiting, or for whatever reason, or at a supercharger. Uh, you can just catch up on order your, your favorite Netflix show or iTunes or whatever the case may be, YouTube. Um, and of course, uh, you can also play video games. So, and, and the same thing for the rear. So you can, uh, the rear, it, it, it basically the, the system feeds all three screens, um, and so you can do things the front rear. It's great. Um, uh, we, we have an all new uh, sound system designed by Tesla Audio. Um, with uh, and we have acoustic glass throughout the car, so the car is very quiet when going down the highway. Even at very high speeds, like you're like doing like 100 miles an hour, it's still quiet. Yeah. <laughs> um, and th this is a Tesla-designed uh, codec, so uh, it will keep uploading improved versions uh, of the sound system. It's it's, it's completely software-defined, so we'll, we'll keep tweaking it and dynamically adjusting to whether uh, you're using. Uh, so streaming, or whether it's coming uh, via Bluetooth for your phone, or uh, different streaming services, uh, it'll actually. And if, if the data rate changes, it'll adapt that. So basically, it always sounds good, um, and that's just going to get better. So, yeah. And then we've got an all-new UI. Uh, so. <laughs> Really want waypoints. <laughs> okay, does everybody here want waypoints? Yeah. Okay, fine, we'll do waypoints. Yeah. That damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> two weeks. All right, we'll do, do, do waypoints, fine. Um, so, uh, but obviously, it also interfaces with your calendar. Um, so, if you just uh, basically, if you just, if you just get in the car and you just sort of swipe down from navigate, you don't have to enter anything. Just swipe down. Uh, the car will automatically figure out if you want to go to home, work, or what's on your calendar. 
So it'll, it'll default to calendar priority. And obviously, if you're, if you're at home and, it, and it's kind of a weekday or whatever, it assumes you're going to go to work. So you just swipe down, it automatically navigates to work, and checks traffic and gives you an optimal route. So it's just like a nice little easy thing. And you can actually set it to automatically generate the most probable route. So you just get in, and it's going to guess what route you want, and you don't have to press anything. Yeah. So uh, anyway, the UI is uh, like basically easy to move around, uh, expand, contract, uh, shift music to the left, to, to the right, um, and we're going to keep improving it. So uh, it basically feels like a, like a modern tablet or phone. Um, so. And then uh, <laughs> it's not PS, not PS4, it's PS5. <laughs> so um, there's, I think never, there really, there's never been a car that has state-of-the-art uh, computing technology, state-of-the-art infotainment, where uh, this is literally uh, at the level of a, of a PlayStation 5. So, yeah, I mean, if you think about the future where the car is often uh, in autopilot or full self-driving mode, um, then entertainment is going to become increasingly important. Um, so you're going to want to watch movies, play games, um, you know, use, use the internet, uh, just a little thing, you know, things you want to do if you're not driving. And this is uh, actual PlayStation 5 level performance. So we're going to try to do a gaming demo. Yes, it can play cyberpunk. <laughs> so this is somebody playing the car right now. This is so <laughs> play, playing live. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's you know, like pretty great. You know, so have fun in the game. In the, in the it's gonna be great. So all right. So high frame rate will do 60 frames a second. Um, with state-of-the-art games. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got uh, uh, incredible performance, interior of the future. I think uh, engineering, that's practically alien. Um, so, uh, like I said, the, you know, simultaneously the safest car in the world and the fastest. It's, this is insane. So, we also got, like, if you look at some things like the, uh, the power curve. So the, I think this really illustrates the difference. It maintains uh, a thousand horsepower all the way up to uh, uh, 200 miles an hour. <laughs> this car crushes. All right. So. <laughs> yes. All right, and deliveries begin now. So, so we're, we're in production. Uh, we're going to deliver the first uh, 25 cars now, and uh, uh, and then basically we should be at uh, you know several hundred cars per week soon, and a thousand cars a week probably next quarter. So uh, please enjoy. Uh, we put a lot of work into this. Uh, I'd like to to thank the incredible work of the Tesla engineering and production teams. Uh, as a, uh, like my hat is off to Tesla Engineering Production Design, the whole, the whole, the whole group. Uh, they really they put their uh, heart and soul into this, so I uh, hope, hope you enjoy it. So let's uh, deliver some cars. All right.
โอ้ลาโอ้ส่งส่งมาอืม